Hello, my crafty friends. Um, I'm trying another live stream today. And this time, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If anybody gets notifications or what. Um, I'm going to be doing some painting some envelopes for a swap that I'm in. And uh, I just thought that'd be fun. It's something I need to do anyway. So if nobody shows up, I'll be all right. Um, I've got a little bit of show and tell here. I'm going to do, I'll save that for in case somebody comes in. But um, right now I'm just going to work on some painting envelopes. I got these um, envelopes at a, at a thrift store. Let's see how many of them I've got. I've got 10. And they're two different sizes. Not a whole lot of difference, but a little bit. But I think they'll be good for the swap. Hi, Kimberly. I'm glad you're coming. I'm glad you're able to be here. Um, I'm going to be painting envelopes today for the um, for the swap for the what are they? What's it called now? The Flockers Feathered Friendship Swap or something like that. Yes, I'm glad you made it. I hope some other people will make it so you can be talking to other people and not just me. But I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Oh, I decided to, I need to paint these envelopes anyway, so um, that's what I'm going to do. They're <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a long name. <laughs> I know it's from at Seventy Acre Studio and Melissa Bishop journal I made to um for that swap. And I just put one of those elastic hair bands around it to keep it shut. But um, doesn't that feel good? Sounds good. Just love that. Yeah, it will be fun to see how everybody does their envelopes. And it'll be fun to see, you know, how everybody does their pages with the stuff they get. I hope a lot of people will, um, will post videos or pictures of what they get and how they, how they make it into pages. But this was a lot of fun. I made it with um, some stamps that I feathered stamps that I made and a bunch of paint. So that's fun. Um, on Friday, last Friday, when I did my first live stream, I worked on this journal. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, I've got an elastic around it too. And this is... Um, how that turned out, I've sealed it, so now it's shiny and it's hard to get it to, to not glare. But that's what I did, we did on the last one. And everybody helped out, telling me what words to put in it and all that kind of stuff. So that was a lot of fun. I'm going to use this one for happy mail and stuff, um, swaps and things that are not part of that flocker swap. Um, so that was fun to do too. Hi, Rose. You made it. I'm glad. I didn't know if you would feel like coming. I know you've been having a hard day, but I'm glad you're here. That makes me feel happy that you're feeling good enough to show up. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Thank you for coming. I'm going to be painting envelopes today for the swap that uh, Melissa Bishop is doing over at the 70 Acre Studio. I've got a paint those so that's what I'm going to start out with and I'm just gonna I think I'll just get one at a time or I'll end up with a really big mess here I'm going to start with background and um I should have shaken up all my paints before I got started so y'all didn't have to listen to me do that but you know you think about those things after the fact And what else can I put with that? Let's put some blue with that. Hi, Clara. I'm glad you came. I'm painting envelopes. We'll figure out some way to decorate them after I get a background on them. But right now I'm just starting with some background paint. You always try to not put too much paint out. And um, 
I guess I didn't get enough this time. So we'll add another color. This is, um, oh, I wasn't thinking. I'm doing this metallic -y stuff again. I love that paint, but it sure doesn't look good on the on the camera. I've got some blue and um, green. What should I add to that? Let's add something that's not metallic -y just for a change. I'm going to put this, um, this is topaz. Oh, I think this one is metallic too, actually. But well, we'll do it anyway. Now I've got so much of this that there's, I'll paint it up here. Get it all. <laughs> I don't want to completely get rid of everything else that, that I did. Ah! I may have to dry my under paper just to, so I can keep working. Okay. Let's see if we can get this to not glare so much. That's what it looks like for right now. I'm going to hang it up on my clothesline where I hang up all my uh, jelly prints. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this to spread out. It'll dry faster if it's all spread out. We're going to make pretty under paper today, if nothing else. Okay. Let's, we're just going to move on because... They're going to be painted. Yes. Good grief. Thank you, Rose. There. That's much better. I hadn't even noticed that. I tell you, it's been a kind of a frazzled day. <laughs> it's gone well, but I just had a lot to do. Uh -huh. paper dryer put together oh yeah well i tell you that one of those retractable clotheslines that you hang up on one side and then you can just pull it across to the other side and hang them up there with clothespins and then you can retract it and get it out of your way when you're not using it that works so good that was um something that i've really enjoyed I bought it off on Amazon. I think it cost me like $6. It didn't hardly cost anything. And it's been well worth, the, well worth it. Yeah, a pulley line. That's right. We just keep painting. Yeah, yeah, it would inconvenience. The cats would probably try very hard to figure out how to get to it. Um, the husband would definitely be inconvenienced. <laughs> but I had, I was working when I first started doing paper crafting. I had all my weaving and spinning stuff in this little craft area that I've got now. And so I was doing my, all my paper crafting in my bedroom. And um, when I had the that strung up across there and I would use the jelly plate and I would have papers strung up all across our bedroom, <laughs> my husband was like, you're really trying to get rid of me, aren't you? <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, dogs have masters, cats have staff. I have heard that. And from the cats I've known, it's probably true. Um, we don't have any cats at our house. I have a couple of family members who are allergic to them. So we just have a dog. And he thinks that he is, um, well, he thinks he's the head of ranch security. I don't know if y'all know about Hank the cow dog, but Cubby thinks that, it's, that he's the head of ranch security around here. Ooh, that's a little more than I wanted. Hi, Carehart. I'm glad you were able to come. I'm 
I'm painting papers for the swap at um, 70 Acre Studio. I don't know why I'm putting this yellow on here when I've already, you know, the envelope is already pretty much that color. But it's not shiny. <laughs> this is shiny at least. <laughs> okay, we're going to call that a good first layer for this one. Carehart, is your name Caroline? Carolyn? Is that who Rose is talking to? Because I didn't see a, a Carolyn come in, so I just wanted to be sure that I've got it that I've got it right in my head here. Okay, here's this one so far. Okay, well, that's good to know. I like to know people's real names. <laughs> Carolyn, 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 Carolyn. <laughs> I have a niece named Caroline. And she gets all upset when everybody calls her Carolyn. She says, no, it's Caroline. Uh, I guess everybody has to deal with their names being them being called something else. Now, at least it's kind of hard to mess up, but um, it's okay, Rose. I mess mine up, and I don't even have a squinty eye, so I mess up my typing. I guess y'all noticed that I'm not. Um, not changing out my brush or even washing it off. I'm just going on to the next color. Drying it off a little bit over here, I guess, before I do that. But You like to be called Care. Well, that's easy then. I can remember Care because it's right there in front of me. <laughs> okay, let's put a little bit of this blue. I rearranged everything so that I could, um, so I can see the chat and it works pretty good except my computer's right here. I hope I don't sling paint on it. Well, that's okay. I would like to, you know, call people what they want to be called, but, um, but a lot of people's names, you know, on YouTube don't have anything to do with their real name. And that's um, one reason I went ahead and put Lisa, my eclectic life, instead of just my eclectic life, because I wanted people to um, to feel like they could know who I was. Hi, Kiki. I'm so glad you're here. Y'all are making me happy. My husband asked me what I was going to do tonight. And I said, I'm going to hang out with friends. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm overwhelming this one with the pearl. That's all right. We'll take some of it off and... Maybe it'll just tone down the other stuff and the paint will come through. I think the color is going to go ahead and come through this. Okay. This is kind of, if we can get it, this is what it looks like right now. Woo. There we go. That's a little bit better. Too much glare. Hang this one up to dry. 
it's a lot more fun to be painting on my papers and talking to y'all than to just be sitting here painting papers by myself. I started a new um, Warping the Loom video today because that other one bugged me so much that the um, that the sound was bad. So I'm trying again on that one. Is that the um, same nonprofit that um, that you're you know, that's the one you're part of, isn't it, Care? And yes, she is. Okay, I thought I remembered that, that that was the same one from one of your videos, but I watch so many people, sometimes I get confused about who's doing what. Hi, Janet. I'm glad you're here. I'm painting envelopes, Janet, for the um, for the flocker swap. That's what I'm going to call it from now on, just the flocker swap, because it's way easier than flockers feathered friendship swap. <laughs> okay, let this dry a little bit. And we'll add something else. I found these envelopes at um, at a thrift store. I think I got I got ten of them. They're two different sizes. They're not a whole lot different, but they're a little bit different. Um, I got ten of them for I think ten cents at the thrift store, and I thought they'd be perfect for that swap. I don't know what I'll use when I run out of these, but Yeah, I haven't gotten into my stash yet. I need to do that so I can see what I'm gonna what I'm gonna send. I, I'm not sure what kinds of things to send. Um, what kinds of things are y'all gonna send in them? Maybe that'll help me if I know what everybody else is doing. Okay, Janet, what did you put in yours? Since yours is already filled up, you're the you're the expert now. <laughs> Tell us what kinds of things you put in them. I'm not swapping with you, so so you won't be ruining my surprise. <laughs> oh, Kim Marie, don't second guess yourself. I think I'm sure whatever you put in there is going to be great. But I just haven't even pulled stuff out to try to figure it out yet. Okay, let's see. Magazine images, painted papers, painted coffee filter, painted book pages, homemade washi tape, and a few other. Oh, that sounds great, Janet. Kiki made dragonfly crystals, cut up scrapbook papers. We'll be including some fibers and painted papers, maybe some die cuts. That sounds great. That sounds great. I think it's going to be it's going to be fun to to fill up the package with things and then see what people do with the stuff you sent them. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, I've got to get a light. I've been trying to, to decide. I may um, include a few of my a little samples, little bitty samples of some of my hand spun yarn. Um, and the, definitely some jelly print type stuff and maybe some images or um, maybe a few sayings or something. Yeah, we have till the 20th. At least that's my understanding. So um, I hope so because I, I'm i going to be behind if we don't. <laughs> okay. Let's add something else on here. 
Um, let's do just a tiny bit of a darker blue. Hi, Susan. I'm glad you're here. I'm painting papers, I mean envelopes, to put swap goodies in. Oh, see, I overdid it. I just I always do that. I just think I'm putting out the tiniest little bit of paint, and it just ends up um, all over everything. I'm definitely going to have to dry my underpaper here in a second, or I'm not going to be able to go any further. <laughs> I like to sometimes have it go kind of sketchy across. Like that blue is, I don't know if you can see, like the blue is over the orange. I think that looks kind of neat. Let's hang this one up. Thanks, Susan. Yeah, we got to get busy. Your football team colors? the um orange and teal or the orange and blue the swap is at uh, 70 acre studio her facebook group melissa bishop's facebook group let's see if we can draw this off a little bit Oh, okay. Orange and blue. The Broncos. I'm going to do, let's do a little bit of red. Have, have I done red yet? No, I haven't done red yet. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's really neat to be, you know, in a lot of groups and get in a lot of swaps, but it sure keeps you jumping. I'm always afraid I'm going to forget forget I signed up for one and leave somebody hanging. I would hate to do that. I've got all these little sticky notes all over the place so that I can <laughs> so that I can remember who all I've joined up with to to swap stuff with. And then I, as soon as I find out who my partners are, I get put their addresses on sticky notes and stick it with that swap up on my little bulletin board. And, um, yeah, well, it's, it's good to have something to do, isn't it, Susan? That's one of the, um, one of the blessings of the internet age is to not be home, to be able to be home, but not alone. Hi, Arlene. I'm glad you're here. I'm making painting envelopes. Just playing around. Tell me what y'all think. Does this time work out for y'all? Is Monday night a good night? Art is therapy. I agree, Care. It's it's a lot of therapy. When um about three years ago, when um with my back and my migraines and everything got so bad, I couldn't weave and spin anymore. And I was really feeling depressed. And um I found mixed media art on YouTube and it was it like saved me. Um it really 
it really has been a blessing. I'm feeling a lot better now, but it's still um, not something I want to give up. I'm still enjoying it. It's still therapy. <laughs> okay, what other color should I put down here? Anybody got an idea? What other color should I add to this? It did help me through, Care. It's, um, and that's one reason why I decided to start making videos because I thought it was such a blessing for me that, um, okay, Teal, got it. Um, oh, and lime green. All right, we'll do a little bit of both. We'll do some teal and then some lime green. This is going to be a wild one. I'm determined not to get too much this time. Well, see, we're all thinking a lot. You think it and somebody else will say it. <laughs> all right, let's do a little bit of this lime green now. Yeah, YouTube is part of my socialization too. And I definitely enjoy the live streams. I enjoy the videos, but I really enjoy the live streams because you actually get to, um, you know, to... To feel like you get to know people a little bit. Well, let's just swap it around here a little bit more. Make it kind of... Hopefully blend a little bit. All right. We're going to call that one good for the background. There we go. And we get to chat. That's right. Okay. I got five of them done. The first layer, at least, on five of them. So. We got five more to go, and then we can turn them over and do the backs. <laughs> it's amazing how many people say that, that this is the thing that saves them from depression or from, you know, keeps them sane when they're in con constant pain. But I just have three partners this month, but um, you can choose how many you want. And I just chose three this month. And I think for me, that's a good amount because I can get three packages made, not spend a whole lot of money to mail them. And I can do three pages. I think I can handle that in a month. So um, if, if it's hard, the next month I may choose two. <laughs> but this month I said three. So all those paint burgers off there. You were smart, Susan, just to do one this time. Let's do some light blue with it. Let them kind of blend in together this time. See how that looks. Yeah, I'm just going to see how this month goes, and then I'll decide how many I'm going to do next month. I'm a very messy painter, can you tell? thought about getting out my jelly plate, but um, that's okay, Care. That's not ranting. That's giving us 
um, an insight into what you're doing, and we need that um, so we can help. We have a um, we have a a place that's a it's not a shelter. It's a it's a daytime place where homeless people can go to learn how to um, maybe help them get a job or whatever. And they have crafts. They do crafts there. So I've donated um, some supplies to that um, for the same reason, because you want to help, you know, help people. Let me kind of spread this out a little bit. I'm still managing to keep sort of an envelope shape there. <laughs> oh, thank you, Care. Well, I tell you, um, it's um, uh, it does make you feel amazing when you can do something, um you know, to help out someone who doesn't have all the blessings that you have. Okay. All right. I'm just going to go on and do the next one. Hi, Patricia. I'm glad you're here. Okay, Rose, we'll be here. I feel like I'm doing the same thing. I need to change it up a little bit what do i have we can change it up a little bit no i'm just gonna yeah i don't know what do i think care if i gave you a wrench could you post it i could give you a wrench <laughs> you can post it if you want I think I know how to do that. Okay. Okay. It says you're now a moderator, so um, so you can post that up, hopefully, because that's definitely something I want to support. Thank you for putting that up. Okay. Add something in with that. I thought I got out some bronze, but I don't see it. But this red is almost bronzy. It's a metallic red. It's called um, Regal Red, but it looks kind of bronzy to me. Let's add a little bit of this with it. Hi, Becky. So glad you're here. I'm making painty papers for Melissa's swap over at 70 acres. I mean, painty envelopes to put my stuff in. Right now, I'm just doing kind of background stuff on them. Making a mess on my table. Yeah, there's no pressure when you're painting envelopes because whatever you do, it's going to look prettier than it was before. <laughs> At least that's how I think about it. 
the post office people, um, at least most of them, are really nice about it. And they're like, oh, did you do that? You know, and I wish somebody would send me an envelope like that. I told one lady, I said, well, give me your address. I'll send you a painting envelope. She just laughed, but she didn't give me your address. I would have sent her one. I didn't mean to make her feel bad, but I think I think I made her feel like she was mooching or something, and I didn't intend to make her feel that way. But anyway, she was like, oh, no, no, that's okay. I'll just see them when you bring them in. Yeah, Kiki, you just have to do like me. Just make a pile somewhere else. I have piles on the floor, piles in the other chair, piles everywhere. No, don't do like me because then your space is always a mess. I spent so much time working on it, getting it all organized. I was and I was I put up all my spinning and weaving stuff because I was going to, you know, I wasn't using it. It was just sitting out here making me wish I was using it. So I put it all up. And then, um, and then I decided, oh, I really want to spin and weave again. And so I started pulling that stuff back out. And so now I've just got an even bigger mess than I had before. Yes, that's what I do, Kiki. Um, one of the tables I have in here is just piles on top of piles. And my friends who come over to visit me a couple of Fridays a month, they call it the magic table. Because <laughs> if they need something, I can just pull it off that table. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to let that be the background for that one. I'm sorry, I'm shaking my table here. Oh, goodness, I didn't realize y'all can see my moo moo. <laughs> oh, maybe I need to scoot my table back. There you go. You don't have to look at my moo moo. Oh, that'll be nice to have help. I love to spin. Um, it's one of my favorite things. It's been, um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, happy to get this new little loom so that I can weave with the stuff that I spin. I've been saving up my spinning stuff for a, um, to make a Ruana. So I'm hoping to do that soon, but I'm still, um, still learning how to, you know, playing with this little loom and trying to decide if I want to go ahead and weave the Ruana on my floor loom, or if I want to weave it on this rigid heddle loom. So Okay, let's use some of these. I bought these, you know, when everybody was going to um, going to Hobby Lobby, and so now I gotta I gotta make them earn their keep. They're such vibrant colors. It's just amazing to me. And I like that if you let them dry, you can just put them right over each other and they keep showing up. Okay, Beck, just go ahead. Do do your work. I, I'm proud of you for doing your work. I have stuff that needs to be done, but I'm, it's not getting done right now. I've got a um, couple of dish towels that... Oh, hi, Lisa. I'm so glad you're here. I got a couple of dish towels I took off my little loom today, and I washed them, and they still need to be ironed. So that's in, in the house that I have to have to get going on. But um, I made some mistakes. Uh, I found some places where I um, where I crossed over a thread I wasn't supposed to. But um, I figured they were just practice, so I didn't fret about it too much. I didn't go back and undo it because that's 
a lot of work for something I'm just going to use in my kitchen. If I was giving it away, I would have gone back and fixed it. But <laughs> let's try a little of this blue too. Right before I started streaming, I went back in the in the house to say something to my husband, and he was gone. My son's at work right now, so Darren took Hannah, and they went off to do something fun, I imagine. I bet they went to Roasters to get coffee. They like to go get coffee together. That's their thing. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I did find some some tea that I can drink there if we go, but I'm kind of letting that be their thing. Oh, that sounds interesting, Care. What did you do with those pieces of that shredded dish towel? Clusters, what, um, I don't get it. Blue abadi abada. I, what does that mean? <laughs> um, whoops. I wish my email would quit sending me um, notices when I'm here. <laughs> if it would just know that I'm busy, that would be nice. Ooh, I think I like that just like that. I'm going to let that dry just like that. Maybe it'll stay in streaks instead of flattening out. That would be cool if it would. I sometimes do. Um, I, I also got, let me show you what I got. The gesso is a good idea. I've done that a couple of times, but I had a hard time writing over it. But I found I got these at the thrift store. They're um, Pitney Bowes postage tape sheets. And so um, I just cut just the white part out and write my name, the name on that and stick it on there because these stick really good. And so that's what I usually do just because it's easier. And I know for sure that it's going to be stay on and be readable. Um, but I have done it with the white gesso sometimes. Oh, I like that idea, Care. She's, um, stacking the paper and fabric and stapling them. That's a great idea. Yeah. Um. A Sharpie works pretty good. I've done that um, on a light colored paint. You know, when the paint is light colored, then I can use a Sharpie on it. Something like this, you know, you would need to either um, either use the gesso or a um, or one of you know a label of some kind. Oh, I, I think I've seen one of those videos, Care. I think I saw one. 
I get so confused what everybody's doing because I watch so many people do so many great things. I'm going to go back and look for them anyway. Because <laughs> if I haven't seen them, I want to. That's a good idea, Rose, putting the silver, using the silver Sharpie. Yes, add a little bit more here. Yeah, I, I've never seen these either. I found them at the thrift store. I just found 10 of them. And so that's how many I have. Um, I'm hoping to um, go to um, Office Depot and see if maybe they have something like them. Because I really like them. I like the size of them. Um, Yes, I love thrift stores too. That's I get a lot of the things I use at thrift stores because that's that's what I can afford. <laughs> that or use a coupon. Okay, we've got one more, and then we'll go and start working on the backs. Oh, thank you for putting that video up there, Care, about the clusters. That's great. Okay. <laughs> oh, part Tuesday. <laughs> oh. Reminds me of um, my stepfather goes to a, a, a bunch of guys get together and they go out to eat. A um, bunch of his friends from years and, you know, years and years. And, and they call themselves the Romeos. Really old men eating out. <laughs> I just think that's so cute. And they're cute guys. You want us to call you kiddo too? That works. I'll probably forget it pretty soon though. I'm, I'm really good at forgetting things that I think are really great and want to remember. I want to learn how to use the fine liner like Mary does. I love watching her use the fine liner. Are you still here, Mary? Yeah, there you are. <coughs> I haven't got enough, <coughs> any courage to try that out yet. Um. <coughs> oh, good night. That one, that one smells. Oh, I don't usually have that trouble, but this one, that one was strong. Goodness gracious. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
I'm inspired by you, Mary, just not brave yet. I'll show you in a minute. I'll see if I can find what I <clears throat> what I bought one time when I couldn't find any of those fine liners. I saw somebody using them. And so I bought, <coughs> goodness, excuse me. <coughs> I bought some, um, something off of Amazon. Let me see if I can find them. Maybe I can try to play with them today. <coughs> Just a second. I got to clean my hands a little bit before I start digging. Okay. Put them in my little Scotty dog box. I used to collect um, Scotty dogs and I still like them, but I don't really collect them anymore. Good luck, bag. <laughs> uh, pay attention to your painting more than this. Maybe listening's okay. Uh, don't want you to mess up your painting because you're trying to watch. I found these at the thrift store again. They've got ink in them. And I thought I would put them in these um, these things I've got. I haven't tried that yet either. But um, I've ordered these little deals. They came with a, a very fine needle. And I think they might work with inks. But I think that they probably would not work with um, with paints because they will get stopped up. But I have quite a few of them, these little bottles. And you just stick a, um, the needle part, you know, from, um, from a syringe. Just twist that right down in there. And um, I've got several sizes of needles. I got some that were way too little at first. And that was obviously a big mistake. I'm trying to see what size these are. These are 20s. These are 25s and definitely won't be using those. Here's some 18s. I might could use an 18. Let's try it and see. They are cute, aren't they? And I've had them for probably two years and I haven't ever had the guts to try them. So you got to be careful. <laughs> Glimmer droppers. Yeah. I ordered these little bottles off of Amazon, Mary. Um, and they're like to put oil and stuff in for machines. Um, so I thought I would try them. Do you, um, do you water down your paint at all? Or do you just put it in there and go for it? Some of these are, these kinds of craft paints are pretty thin anyway. So, um, let's just choose one. Plain old craft paint. Okay. Well, that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to do this really dark blue, Admiral Blue, and we'll see if it works. Oh, goodness, no. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I got a big mess. That's obviously too thick a paint, or I messed up somehow. I don't know what I did, but. It didn't work out well, whatever it was. <laughs> okay, let's. I'm 
going to use something different than this one because it didn't want to come out. And then when it did, it just made a big mess. So we'll leave what's in there in there and mix it with something else. But let's try this metallic paint. Let it stream out. Okay. All right. Well, we got some in there anyway. I'm going to take that off and try to shake it up here a little bit. Well, we'll see here. Okay, we'll play on this one a little bit. Now, y'all found out last on Friday that I wasn't a, such a great doodler. So, I doubt I'll be any better at doodling with this. But, anyway. Woo! Okay. Ah, yeah. Well, we're going to play a minute. And I may wish that I had paid attention to what you said. Okay. Well, so far so good. Let's put some little dots. See if we can put some little dots. I think if I thinned it down, like Care said to, I could probably use a finer. Um, finer gauge. Yeah, I did. I um, actually went to Walmart to the pharmacy and said, I need some. Um, syringe needles 18 gauge and 20 gauge because it actually came with the 25 the 25 gauge ones came with them and 22 came with them but i decided those were too small so i just went to um to walmart at the pharmacy and said so they said how many do you want i said five and they sold me some so um that's all you got to do is you know, Walmart, Walmart um, they were happy to sell them to me. <laughs> it's almost a little scary to think anybody could just go up there and ask for 20 gauge needles. But um, yeah, and I probably should have. Um, this is 18, so um, I got by with it. But it would probably be better to add um, add a thinner to it. That's true. It is safer to sell them clean, but um, well, I asked for the um, needles, syringe the ne syringe needles of a certain gauge. Yeah, and I got the bottles off of Amazon. Yeah, and I can't remember. This was, I mean, it really was two or three years ago. I don't know. I don't have a clue. I'll have to go way back. Um, 
I don't know if I could even find it again. But I was just looking for. Um, I can't even remember what I put in. In order to, to find them. Because it was so long ago. Sorry, Rose. Um, if I can, if I can find it, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, <laughs> but, oh, you found them, Susan? Yeah. And you could use the plungers and you could just suck the stuff up in the plunger and put the needle on it and use it like that. Um, I hadn't even thought about doing that. See, that would have been easier. Okay, so I think I'm going to let that one just rest like that. Um, lay it over here with this other one. What I'm worried about is that these prop may not, that they might plug up. Because you don't have that needle, you know, in your fine liners, you've got a needle that sticks down in there. And you don't have that with these. I'm going to put the thing on it and we'll see. We'll find out. I'm going to do another one. See what gauge is this one. Okay. I think that's the 22. Let's find a 20. And we'll um, we'll dilute it some, or may may try to get some of that ink out. I may do that with a smaller one, but um, let me get some put some alcohol in here. I need a funnel for my alcohol too because it's got such a big weird hole in it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pour this in over my. I don't have any um, glycerin out here. I've got some in the house somewhere, but I don't have any glycerin out here. So I'll just, um, we'll just have to make do with some alcohol mixed in with it. And uh, let's do this one in purple. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, get that off. No. Ah, shoot. <laughs> no. Let's see how, how it works. Put the lid on it. Now well, let's shake it like this first. Okay, let me see what Rose is saying. Beading kits have those super fine wire needles. That's true. I've got some pins in the house, um, but I don't know if they're fine enough to go into that. Okay. Well, that thinned that out quite a bit. Let's see if it's too thin for that 20 gauge needle or if it'll work. Mike could use a finer one if. Um, okay. Let's see, what do I want to. Let's do this. I'm going to do a little test on the, um, right up here, just so I can. Okay. Oh, it's 
still doesn't want to. Let's see if there's a. I thought that was going to be really thin and would come out really good, but. Okay, let's just see what we can do here. You can hear me making scrapey noises. Thanks. <laughs> I hope that scratchy noise isn't bugging y'all. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Zentangle pancakes, that would be cool. I'm glad that y'all are enjoying it. It takes a lot of power. These bottles don't. Um... They're not very easy to use. A <laughs> hack video. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when I can't find uh, what I want at a price I can afford, I try to find something else that'll work. And this is kind of one of those things. I could get, you know, like six of these bottles with the syringes. Of course, I didn't know the syringes were too small at that point. And I think it was five or six dollars. And one fine liner was, you know, more than that. Um, so it seemed like, a, you know, such a great idea at the time. But then I never did actually use it, you know, so that makes it not so such a great deal. <laughs> uh, if you don't ever use it, it doesn't do you any good. OK, I'm going to let this sit because I don't know what else to do with it. And I don't want to get my hand, arm in it or something. Um, OK. Now I think I want to try, where did I put those inks? Let's see, there's yellow, and cayenne, and black, magenta. I think since it's ink, we're going to try the black. And I don't know if this will work or not. Um, the blue was an 18 gauge, and the purple was a 20 gauge. And then um, 
I'm going to use the smaller one for this ink just to see if I can actually use it. Boy, that does not want to open. Okay, let's find some scissors here. Now, I can't remember what my plan was. I think my plan was to um, puncture it right there and try to suck the ink out. Um, See how I wish I had one of those the syringes that go with the needles. <laughs> Did I have any? No, oh, but look there. There's a little bit <laughs> a little bitty funnel. That came with the bottles. I had forgotten about it. Hmm. Man, I wish I did have a syringe so I could suck that ink up. I don't think this well. I don't know. Let's try it. You won't know unless you try. If it doesn't work, then we'll know it doesn't work. Okay, let's take that off. Oops. Oh, see, that doesn't work because you can't get it um, down in there good enough. Okay. Well, they refill them somehow. I'm afraid I'll end up just making a huge mess. No. Nope. Hmm. Well, this may not be doable. Nope. See, that's not going to work out. Luckily, I only paid 10 cents for these at the thrift store. <laughs> We might be fixing to make a really big mess here. I need some pliers. Ah, good grief. Okay, y'all ready to watch me make a mess? Oh, I'm sorry, Kim Marie. Good night. Thank you for coming. Hmm. <laughs> can't even tell how it's made inside so I don't know if it's gonna um, you know explode on me or what looks like it's encased in plastic so we might be <laughs> yeah, cover your eyes. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Here's <laughs> there's um looks like there's some thin holes right there that we might can accidentally 
um, break through. Let's try it and see. Hi, Packer Die. It's good to have you here. I'm trying. I'm trying an experiment. I got an ink cartridge. I'm trying to see if I can get some ink out of it to use in this little thing, kind of like a fine liner. No, nope. oh, it did suck some in. All right, let's let it go down, and then we'll try again. Well, I got a little bit in there. I'll let it run down, and we'll try again. See if we can add some more. Yeah, an ink cartridge um, for an inkjet printer. Can't tell how much is actually in there. May just be coating the sides, but not really be very much in there. <laughs> I'll let it run down a little bit more. I'm glad you're popping in. Can't tell if I'm actually getting any more or not. It's not exactly a sack. It's um, it's just like plastic covered over the the frame, and so um, so you you can't actually take it out. Let's see if we can. I'm just puncturing it in different places and hoping it'll suck some of it up. Okay. It's not as easy to do as I had originally hoped when I bought the silly thing at the thrift store, but um, let's see if we can Let's see if we can get it to um, to make some marks. Ooh, it just makes a big blob. Um, I do have some bottled ink, actually. But now I'm thinking if I'm going to use the, the ink, I need an even finer um, needle than this. And I have some. <laughs> uh, let's set this aside. Let it kind of try to dry on us because it's going to make a mess if I don't. And let me see if I can find that ink. Trying to remember where I put it. You know, I put everything someplace that seemed logical at the moment. I don't know. Um, right now, it looks like this.
So it's, um, there is a place right here. I don't know if you can see that where it, um, it looks a little bit like it's, you know, resisting it. Um, I don't know. We'll let it sit there and dry a little bit and then we'll come back and see what it looks like, how it's behaving. I'm trying to remember where those inks are. I'm sure I'll put it someplace really safe, you know, so it wouldn't make a mess. Oh, let me go over here and look. Okay, here we go. I have red and not sure what that one is. Oh, I don't know if I can even get that open. There we go. Oh, this is blue. And then this is black that um, I put in this dropper thing. Um, that was my son's when he was trying to um, learn how to write with the uh, Japanese style. He had some ink and he didn't, he decided that wasn't for him. <laughs> and so, so he, um, he gave it to me and I stuck it in there. Okay. I think just so we can see what the difference is. Where did that needle cover go? Okay, I need that cover. I'm not just going to let this needle just sit out here and um, be dangerous. Because if somebody's going to poke themselves, it'll be me. Well, I can't find it, so I'm going to take that needle off, wrap it up in a paper towel. Um, put a little bit of duct tape around it and put it in the trash. Okay, that should be protective. Okay. Um, let me clean this off a little bit. Yes, they're very sharp pointed. That's why I was making that scratchy, scratchy um, sound. I'm going to pour that ink out at least as much as I can get out and um, try this other kind. Yeah, you have to be, be careful. Which is why I was covering that with the paper towel and duct tape. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put some of this dark blue in there. I need my little funnel, that's for sure. Woo! I'm not a very good pourer. This is um, hmm, that's very liquidy. I'm afraid it might be too. 
too liquidy. <laughs> okay. Let's see how big a mess we can make. That should be the name of this stream. Oh. They might could be snipped off. Um, I'm afraid if anything I've got would probably just end up crimping them, you know, instead of actually snipping them off. So I don't know. Oh, thing off that lid. Oh, end up not being able to get it open next time. Okay, so let's put this um, on it and let's. Take the finest one we've got and see. 25, I think, is the finest one. Yeah. Let's see if this will work. Okay, this is a 25 gauge needle. It's pretty small. You can barely even see the opening. Um, let's go ahead and get this back out and we'll compare it since we've got something here to compare to. Oh, see, it just. It needs to be thickened up. <laughs> Even with this tiny little needle, it needs to be thickened up. Or I need to not um, not apply any. Yeah, I don't know. You could just barely, barely squeeze it and just make squiggles. It might work. <laughs> But um, it made little, you know, squiggles, but I can't um, actually write with it because if you put any pressure on it, it just blobs out. So. <laughs> well, Scott, I say I know a lot. <laughs> I taught defensive driving way back. Uh, 20 something years ago and um, and one time somebody wrote on my evaluation you sure say I know a lot <laughs> I was like I know right <laughs> so we're going to have to come up with some kind of um something to make that a little thicker or it, it just makes blobs. If you want blobs, it'll work. Okay, Rose, rest your eyes. And um, if we can see you again, we would love to. <sighs> no blobs. Yeah, that looks like blobs to me, Mary. <laughs> Inky blobs. We could make them. Maybe we can make them run. We can pretend like it was on purpose that it did this. How's that? That's better. What do you think? I don't know. Um, that's something to think about. Could just pour it in a spray bottle and see what happens. Do you want me to spray alcohol on this or do you want me to put it in with alcohol in a spray bottle? 
spray with alcohol. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Whoops. Let's just make a mess here. So oh, luckily that was almost dry. Okay, let me find my alcohol spray. I uh, know I have some. Well, I know I have some somewhere because I use it with it when I do alcohol inks. But I can't find it. So I'm going to, let me get a. I have a, um, let me find a little spray bottle. I have an extra one of those too, I think. And we'll just put some alcohol in it and then we will have an alcohol spray bottle. Let's see if I need to cut that off. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, we can get the alcohol in, in here without making a huge mess. Okay. <laughs> the ink's already already drying up. It really does. I don't know if it's soaking in or it's just like disappearing. No, nope, not much reaction. It had already pretty much dried to look like that. And when I sprayed it, it didn't really do anything. I agree um, about the needles being sharp. I don't know. Um, yeah, it probably would. Of course, I'm I'm so far from being monetized, it's probably not an issue. <laughs> But, um, but I think that it just, um, it was just something I was going to try, you know, this was before, um, before I even had any ideas of doing videos when I bought that stuff, I just wanted to see if I could make me a fine liner and it, it does work if you use the bigger gauge needles, but, um, add some more on here and there probably is Mary um I haven't looked hard enough <laughs> Now, if I can find a place to lay this, it's not going to get completely messed up. Well, I'll lay it right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that would be fun with some mica and. Um, yeah, and dropper bottles would work, and then you can just paint them. I think that's a good idea. Oh. Okay, I'm going to throw this heat cartridge away, too. <laughs> Get that out of the way. Oh, there's that needle lid. <laughs> now that I um, fixed it all up with my, wasted some of my duct tape, I found it. Okay. 
Well, I'm always looking for a, for some something that'll work or an alternative. Let's put that in the water before I end up with messing it up. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I have to show y'all what I found at Dollar Tree today. Have y'all seen these? Um, they're sketchbooks with um, that you can stitch on. They come with some um, embroidery floss and a little needle. And then um, they've got elastic on them. And they've got, you know, a color here in this... Um, this holy, holy paper. <laughs> so you can um, stitch designs on them. They've got some examples. Um, see if we can get that. Ooh, that's so, so bright. I don't know if you can see. Oh, that's not going to be good. Let's see. Maybe this will work better. They also come with this little um, pattern, you know, that you can um, use to stitch on your, your book. But and the paper is blank and it's and it's a stitched binding. Um, it's really really thin paper. But um, yeah, I, I think I like the cactus too. But I like this size book, and so um. I would probably would have bought them just because they were a sewn binding and they were the right size book and they were blank pages, not line. But um, the fact that it comes with the string might be neat. I probably will end up just painting this with something that will contrast to the orange and just letting it, um, letting it, you know, paint through. I mean, let the orange peek through with the contrasting colors. Mary, Janet wants you. Janet, Mary says. <laughs> like string art, yeah. Anyway, I thought those were cute. They had um, this one that's orange with the green string. And then this one's green with purple string. And um, the pink one comes with uh, kind of a almost... The same color string. I don't know why they didn't switch that up. And then yellow back paper with the orange string. So they had these four kinds. And since I like that size um, journal anyway, I went ahead and got got one of each. But I thought they were pretty cute. Janet's got you doing Franken pages. Good for you, Mary. I was trying to sew him up my um, my towels this afternoon, and I got them hemmed, but I was using a stitch that's um, on the machine. You have to turn it to SS to do these particular stitches, and I did that, and then I was trying to fix my son's shorts and um, where there was a rip in them, and I was just going to use a straight stitch. And the um, and I went to try to sew, and my machine just went backwards. It wouldn't go forwards. I have never had that happen before. I thought my you know little reverse switch had gotten broken because it was only going backwards. And so um, so I I was really I didn't know what to do. So I was gonna um call the place and take it in to have them look at it, and then um. I decided just to switch it back to what I had had it on before and I switched it back and it worked great. So I don't know what the deal is, what's wrong with it, but that was really weird. Um, did you sew your Franken pages, the little bitty ones, Janet? That's really cool. I want to be your friend. <laughs> I would like a little baby Franken page. That's a cute idea. Okay, I'm going to grab these and let's see if we can put some, use some stamps or some stencils or something on them. The rest of these that I 
didn't pretend to find one. See what we can do to these. Uh, oh, that's sweet, Janet. I would love to have an ACC or a three by three or whatever that's your art. That would be cool. Thank you. Okay. So I've got, let's make sure I've got them turned the right direction because that. I'm really bad about decorating something and then having my decorations upside down to the way the envelope opens. <laughs> I guess it really doesn't matter, but it bugs me anyway. Okay. No, Mary's going to do fine line, fine liner stitches, aren't you, Mary? I think I remember you talking about that when you were, um, when you were live on Friday, that would be cool. I bet it would be, um, I hadn't thought about it, especially trying to get into the middle. If your machine's like mine, it has a fairly, mine only has about this much space, you know, the inside space. It's not like a quilted machine that um, has uh, lots of inside space. Okay. Do we want to use paint? Oh. I was going to No, I don't want to do the other side right now cuz I want to <laughs> I want to decorate. I'll I'll do the other side after I decorate this side. And we'll just hope for the best. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to use stamps or texture things um i like using these kind of foam stamps and just stamping you know on them um but i feel like that's what all i ever do <laughs> Oh, I have some I have some new little stamps I got at the thrift store. Let's see if I can cut these. Maybe we'll use these. Well, this is not easy to cut. I don't know how they expect you to cut these apart. I have to kind of force my scissors down. <laughs> Luckily, they're not precious scissors. I don't use stamps like this a lot because I would always want to paint the different parts, different colors. And um, I'm not adept enough to do that well. So we're just going to, um, we're just going to do them one color like this one. I might go back and paint the, I don't know. We're just going to play with them. <laughs> um, I like the, the lizard one really well. And the ladybug and the bumblebee. Well, actually, I like them all. Okay. Now then I need um, something for a stamp pad. Let's set those aside right now and let me find my little jelly plate. We'll use it as a, as a stamp pad. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know who was doing that. Okay, where is it? Ah. Oh, if y'all could see this mess, you would just laugh or cry, one or the other. Okay, I found my my jelly plate that I'm going to use as a stamp pad. I do have metallic paints out, yeah. Um, a lot of these are are metallics. What color do you want me to use and which stamp, Janet? On this envelope, see, these are metallics. That's why they're so shiny. On this envelope, what stamp and what color paint? I'll see if I can accommodate you. Okay, something copper or bronze. All right, I have that. Um, this is antique copper and the lizard. All righty, that sounds good to me. Okay. Oh, I need a wipe off book so I can roll that. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put my wipe off book. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right. Let's move this. Okay. Now then. Let's find a little lizard guy. Ink him up good here. Oh no! He's got an arm missing. What do we do with a lizard with an arm missing? Well, we're we're gonna use him anyway. We'll just put him. We're going to use him anyway. <laughs> I didn't realize he had an arm missing. Somebody probably gave that to the thrift store because this lizard had his arm missing. It's on the turtle. No, I don't see anything on the turtle. Let me look at the others, though, just in case. No. It's not on any of the others. I don't see it laying around here. I don't know if it's really, if it was ever there at all or, um, We're going to use him anyway. Okay. Okay, Rose. We'll be here a little bit longer. Oh, 
I made a mess of that one. It just slid everywhere. Just dab a little paint where the arm goes. That's right. That's what I need to do. Okay. Well, I'm a little disappointed by my little handicapped um, lizard, but we love him anyway. So let's see. I feel like I should put some more of them on there. Let's just go ahead and put a few more. Well, I'm not doing a very good job of this. <laughs> I think it looks worse. I should have left it alone. Okay. This one may not get sent to anybody. That one's really, really sad. Not very happy with that. And it's not your fault, little lizard. I'm just not a very good designer. Okay. Well, let's try something different. <laughs> okay. Um, let me pull up that extra paint there. That's true, Mary. I can repaint them. Just let it be a layer. Thank you, Care. Um, you're right. That's probably true. Or I'll think of something that I think will make you make me happier. Um, okay. I think I want to do the butterfly. Um, and I'm going to do it in this pearl. No, purple. We'll do it in purple. Okay, I'm going to try rolling it across like you suggested and see if I can get that to work better. can get this to work. Good night, Clara. I hope your breathing treatment helps. Oh, I like that. That turned out good. So let's do another one on this side. Whoops. Maybe I can get all of this one on there. That one's kind of flying off the page, which is fine. I don't mind things flying off the page, but I intended to get the whole thing on there. <laughs> well, this one's flying off the page too, but I like that one. That makes me happy. So we're going to just leave that. 
just like that. Okay. Um, okay. And let's, um, okay. We got a snail, a ladybug. Oh, it's snail mail. Okay, we're going to have to do a snail. We'll make snails going across the page. Let's see. We'll do that on this one. What color should my snails be? <coughs> oh, I was going nearly 10. It's only nearly nine here, so I, I didn't think I had been on here that long. <laughs> oh, yeah, paint tomorrow. <laughs> snail mail. Yeah, we're going to have some snail mail. Yeah, I figured it out, Beck. Um, yeah, will you have a good night? I'm glad you were able to come. I hope you got a little work done while you were listening. Oh, you're staying. Okay. Well, that's fine, too. I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> what color should we make the snails? I'm waiting for a color choice. Yellow. Okay. Oh, I got to get my purple off here somehow. Um, let's go ahead and put it all over this plate. Oh. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah. Okay. Let me find another piece of, of paper that needs to be inked up. Oh, we got yellow and silver. Hmm. We may have to do some of both, maybe. Or maybe yellow on one one and silver on another one. Okay. We'll start with the yellow since it was the first suggestion. And I'm using this uh, Martha Stewart's Pearl, and I think it's called School, Pearl School. <laughs> yeah, this is a card table, um, and this is what I do most of my work on, but I've got a desk over here uh, to the side that that's where my computer usually is. But for a live, so I can see the chat, I need to have it um, in front of me. Okay, there it is. It's coding here. I'm going to stamp him off over here because it seems like they work better after you've stamped them a couple of times. So let's stamp him off and then code him again. Okay, we're going to put the first one right here. It's good to see you too, Di. 
thank you for coming. You have a great evening. Hi, Nana. I'm glad you made it in. It's good to see you. We're painting envelopes, and decorating them. Right now, I'm putting snails on this one. Bye-bye, Di. Ooh, my hands, don't they look beautiful? <laughs> oh, I squibbled it a little bit. I hate it when I do that. Okay, here, here are the snails carrying the snail mail. I like that. I think we're going to go ahead and do another one with the um, with the silver. If I can find some silver, let me get another paper to clean off this jelly plate. Might as well use it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, everybody needs a snail stamp. Oh, look at that. Bonus. <laughs> Let's see if we can go ahead and get off some more. That one still feels pretty wet. Come on. Yeah, a smiley stamp would be good too. Oh, that's a good idea. And I have a bee. See? We'll do that in a minute. Okay. Put that up there. Now then let's find some silver. Oh. Here we go, sterling silver. Oh, I need to clean my roller. Good great. Okay. <laughs> I bet you can come up with another one this week, Care. The week's only started. I 
I bet you get more than one good idea a week. Okay. I think I'm going to put the silver ones on here. Let me get these scissors out of the way. Oh, that one's getting kind of yellow, yellow on it too. No, he doesn't mind a little yellow. He actually looks good on him. One more little silver snail here. Okay, here's here's how those little snails they look cute, don't they? Okay, let's put those over there. And let's clean off my brayer. And pull a print here. Sorry, I'm shaking. Can you see the water just well that just turned out silver. That'll have to be definitely have to be a background because it's gonna need more work. Let's see if we can pull up a little more here. Okay, that one's pretty. Let's see if you can see that. It's got the yellow and the silver. Let me pull that yellow one back down here and let's put some bees on it. Oh, it needs to dry a little bit more. We'll let it dry a little bit more. And we'll put some bees. Oops, I lost my bee. Okay. Let's put some bees on this one. I think that'll look pretty with some bees. What color do we want our bees to be? Should I make them black? I know I want to do that on the yellow probably, but or dark blue. But I could do them yellow on here. That would probably look good, you think? Make them black and then add yellow paint. Oh, you want me to work hard. Okay. Black and then add yellow paint. Let me find some black. 
Well, here's a metallic black, a sequin black. That ought to be fun. Ouch. Okay. Okay. We'll definitely have to add some yellow because he looks kind of boring and just in black. Oh, I just painted my hand. <laughs> Put in the cap with a point on the inside. Yeah, these caps. Um, oh, you mean down inside the ink? Do you mean the needle going down into the? Well, some. Yeah, this is acrylic paint. We did some. Tried to do some fine line work with these, and I used some with ink and some with acrylic paint. But no, you can't put it in backwards. They just kind of, um, let me see if I could, they kind of screw on to this little thing on the top. So they just screw right on top of there. I wish that would work. Yeah, Bowie, I agree. That would be that would have been a great idea. I am getting paint all over me. Look at this. So here, here. <laughs> oh, okay. So here they are, black. And I'll have to let those dry, and then we'll come back with some, um, add some yellow to them. Let's see if this so. Okay, I think this is where we can let's see if we can put some black bees on it. I do have some Posca pens. Yeah, that would be good to use for the yellow. That'd be a lot easier than me trying to paint it because I'm not a good painter. Thank you for the idea, Janet. That'll help a lot. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and clean this up here. him up a little bit. That black metallic paint is, um, it 
bit. It's kind of, it's not as opaque as I, or as metallic -y as I thought it would be. There's what that pool looks like. Just kind of a black mess. Um, let's do the last little bit of this on top of this silver yellow one. Let's see. Yeah, um, I live actually right downtown, and the airport is east of me, but we're right in the fly zone. <laughs> but our, our, we're not in a huge city, so, you know, the airport's like um, maybe six miles from me. Um, so it's it's pretty close by. Takes about 10 minutes to get there from here. I can almost get anywhere in town in 10 minutes because we live where I 40 crosses Amarillo and where the um, Interstate 287, 87, um, we call it the Canyon Expressway, but um, where it crosses Amarillo. So we're like right here in this little thing. So I can get on either one of those highways and go anywhere in town pretty quick, which is really convenient. But you do hear airplanes and the helicopters from Bell Helicopter and um, and all the, you know, the highway noise as well. We get it out. We get it all. <laughs> I've gotten to where I don't even think about that anymore. So. Um, on the fine liners, I was told we could change the nozzle. By pulling one out and pushing another size in. I never tried it. Huh. I don't know. Sounds interesting. Okay. What stamp do you want me to use on, on this one? We've done the snails and the butterfly and the bee and our little lizard. Um, I've got a ladybug and a turtle and a cricket or grasshopper. I guess it's a grasshopper. What do you think? I kind of think the cricket's cute. Okay, turtle. That'll work. So let me find some... Um, some pretty green for the turtle. Well, this is, this will show up, I think. Let's do this. Oh, we're cleaning up my jelly plate. Did y'all see how messy it was when I pulled it out? <laughs> It's a lot cleaner now than it was when I pulled it out. Okay, let's see. We'll have one turtle going up the side. Oh, dear. I moved him, so he's going to be a smudgy turtle. Well, that's not too bad, but let's go ahead and put Let's go ahead and fit one more on here. So if it's going up that side, we'll make it go down this side. Okay. 
Okay, so here are our turtles. We're definitely going to need to doodle on these. Probably not tonight, but. <laughs> We'll doodle on the bumblebees if they dry in time. Clean that off a little bit. And let's put this over the black because I'm not really liking that black. It's still kind of wet, so I don't know what this will look like. But it covered up the black, so that's good. Okay, let's look at these little bees. Let me move this out of the way. Put that away. Okay, those are still, well, good grief. Now I've got green turtle on my arm too. All right, let me find my, um, I think my son borrowed my, he, oh, there it is. Let's say, where did he put it? I'm trying to remember who it was I, I watched. And every time she would turn on the heat gun, she'd say, heat gun, and then turn it on. <laughs> said in such a sweet voice. It was really cute, but I can't remember who it was. See if that's oh, it's so sticky. Let's let it cool down a little bit. And we'll see. See if we can work on it some. It's amazing how this one's just kind of turned into a, a mess of nothing. We're gonna have to do something to that to fix it. There's the Butterflies, they, those turn, that turned out really good. I think I'm just going to leave it exactly like it is. There's the turtles again. Those I want to doodle on. Okay, let me find my Posca pins. And they're not where they're supposed to be, so that means they're under a pile here somewhere. Well, we may not get to use pasta pens tonight. <laughs> um, I thought they were right here. They are not. That's what happens when you're one of three people who use the studio. <laughs> well, I found those fabric markers that didn't work very well. 
and that's not what I want. Oh, here they are. Okay, I found them. I just got to keep digging. <laughs> okay. Let's get out the yellow one and see what we can do. What you say is a mess of nothing could use your grasshopper. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. We'll do that in a minute. Let's let's see if we, what we can do with this. Yeah, I'm glad I found them too, Janet. Oh goodness, Whoop. I. Uh, I guess I'm just really heavy handed because my Posca pins always make a blop <laughs> whenever I try to. Um, okay. At least we know it's got paint in it, huh? Caesar salad. Who has a Caesar salad? Mmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm not sure how this really should be. So we're just going to play. They're my bumblebees, so they could be however I make them, right? <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you blob yours too, because they are messy. I'm not the only one that makes blobs. Are those looking okay? I probably need to maybe do a small stripe here. Let's do that kind of break him up a little bit. That's true. That would work. I just blob on my underpaper, and so whatever I do with my underpaper, that's where those blobs are. <laughs> now this one wins over the snail. <laughs> So what do you think? Is that enough yellow? I almost feel like his eyes need some work, but my daughter ran off with my white Posca pen, so I can't. Um, I know what I'll use if I can find it. Here we go. We'll use this um, Uniball Signal. I like this one for white. Well, that one looks bad. <laughs> He's got crazy eyes. Maybe white wasn't the right color eyes to give him. Yeah, I'll show it. Where is the snail mail? Here's one. Here's one. We've got these two. Maybe if it's like this will be better. <laughs> Those are our snail mails. I like those. 
<laughs> Maybe so. He's definitely got wonky eyes. <laughs> oh. If I can get rid of that notice. I had to move my mouse, and so now I've got to find it again here. Sorry, but it's in my way. I can't see the chat. It comes right up in the wrong place. Oh, thank you, Care. I try really hard. Um, it helps that on my laptop, I can make it really big <laughs> so I can see it easy. That makes it easier to keep up. <laughs> okay, here we are. That's you, that's you Rose. I'm sorry you have a wonky eye. I know that is not only frustrating but painful. And I wish it that you didn't have to deal with that. Okay, let's um, let's use the dark green Posca pen and make some um, you know the little squares that are on the um, shell. We'll do some of that and see if it'll. And I'm glad you can still make jokes about it, Rose. It makes it easier. It's laugh or cry, isn't it? <laughs> laugh is a better better choice than cry. Oh, look, I only made a baby blob. Yay. I'm getting better. Oh, I'm, I'm about to have to go put my back on a heating pad. <laughs> I'm having too much fun, though. Is that, can y'all see? Is that making a dip? Well, let me... Let me do some more and then we'll we'll see if it helps any if I can get you a better angle. Do his little toes too. <laughs> I did this one wrong because I couldn't I didn't notice that the the toes are pointing out and I made them long ways but you can't really tell too much um because it's very not a whole lot of difference in the um painting once I get it done I'll lift it up there maybe you can see it a little bit but it doesn't actually add as much to it as I thought it might One more little snail, and then we'll. I almost gave his tail toes. That would be a pretty scary looking turtle. Okay. Bye, Lisa. Um, are you leaving? Is that who's leaving? I say, oh, you're talking about my back. Yeah, I will. Um, I'm glad y'all enjoy the um the envelopes. Let's see if I can get this. To, um. I guess you can kind of, woo, I can't figure out. 
There you go. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Toes on the tails would work in one of those abandoned books. That's funny. <laughs> I got one of those abandoned books. My son gave me one for Christmas. But it just broke his heart to think I was going to mess them up by painting in them <laughs> in the book. And so I haven't done anything to it. It's just still sitting there just to look at. <laughs> oh, thanks, Janet. I, I think I'm I think I'm liking them. Let's see. Um, OK, here's the bees. And the turtles. And. We've already looked at the snails. And this this one needs some help. I don't know if I can do something besides just paint over that one and start again. And then here's the one I did with my pretend fine liner. <laughs> and this one. I like that one. And there's the one that's just got, um, I don't know, uh, comets or meteor showers or something streaked across it. I may add something to that one later. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I would have a hard time working in a church book, too. Is it an abandoned churches or is it just um, beautiful pictures of churches? Add stars. Okay. If you knew how terrible I am at making stars, you wouldn't ask me to add stars. <laughs> uh, well, show us, um, Mary, show us this, the church book on your live show Friday night. I'd like to see the pictures, or at least a few of them. I really am terrible at making stars. I'm scared that I'm going to make it look really ugly if I try to do that. Okay. Who said stars? I'm trying to, trying to find that in the chat. See. <laughs> Add stars, Aunt Beck. Okay, Aunt Beck, I'm going to send this to you. And I'm going to let you add stars to it. <laughs> and you can show me what it looks like after you get the stars on it. <laughs> because I I would just, it would just be a mess if I, if I put stars on it. Okay, so I'm going to write on here that this one's going to go to Aunt Beck when I get when I get the back painted. Okay, that one's yours. You're gonna have to put stars on it and and show me. I'll I'll probably be, I'll put my your name and stuff on the back of it so that this will be left alone. And then you can put stars on it. Oh, that would be pretty, Mary. I would really like to see that. A star stencil if I had a punch. Yes, I could, but I don't have a punch. <laughs> it's still up to you, Aunt Beck. I'm going to send it to you and you can put some stars on it. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. It's, it's going to be your, your job to add the stars. Well, I am going to have to get off, y'all. Uh, I have had so much fun. Y'all are wonderful to hang out with. Thank you so much for for hanging with me all evening. It's been almost three hours. I appreciate it very much. Y'all make life a lot more fun. Um, I, I had a blast. 
I'm glad you all were able to be here too. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got to steal you away from painting too, Aunt Beck. Makes me feel special. <laughs> it was fun to have you in the chat, Mary. Thank y'all all. Thank you, Patricia. I'm glad y'all were here. Um, Janet, it's good to see you too. And I liked all your suggestions. Thank you for, for speaking up so often. Um, oh no, Becky's not going to be in trouble. He loves her too much. <laughs> good night, y'all. Bye-bye.